in a galaxy far, far away. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over exactly how to install Calyx OS on your Pixel device using a Windows computer. It's important to note before we begin that this process will completely erase your device. So please back up all pictures, documents, and whatever else you wanna keep on it before we begin. So the first step in this process is gonna be to head on over to calyxos.org. I'm gonna have a link down below that leads out to my website with a list of all the links referenced in this video along with all the commands used. You might be wondering why I have a weird border on the bottom of my screen. I'm demonstrating this from inside a virtual machine, which is something you should not be doing, but it's a little bit easier to make a video with. So first thing, when you get to calyxos.org, go ahead and click the big green Get Calyx OS. We're going to be installing on your phone. I'm demonstrating this on a Google Pixel 5. This is a default install. The only thing I've done is walk through the initial setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Pixel 5 on this page, but whatever phone you have, select that one. We are installing from Windows. This first part is just the terminology about what they're referring to in the guide. It's useful to read through, but I'm not going to go through it in this video. So the first part here is to prepare your Android device. Let's go ahead and bring up the phone. So the first thing we're gonna do is enable developer options. So we're going to swipe up, go into settings, scroll all the way down to about phone, select that, scroll all the way down to the bottom, tap build number seven times until you see you are now a developer on the screen, hit the back button, Next, enable USB debugging. So go into system, developer options. We're going to scroll down till we get to USB debugging. Enable that, allow, yes, click okay. And the last part is enable OEM unlocking. Scroll up, we can see OEM unlocking. Enable that, click enable. Quick disclaimer on the site, this step might fail if there's no internet connection. In that case, connect a Wi-Fi network or remove SIM card and then try again. This step will also fail if you have a Verizon Google Pixel, they lock the bootloader. If that's the case, list the phone on eBay, Craigslist, or offer up and get rid of it because there's nothing you can do with it to install an aftermarket OS. So now that we have the phone ready, the next step is to prepare the host computer. So first thing here is install USB drivers for Windows. I'm going to download a Google USB driver. On this page, click the big blue download link. Scroll through this, sign your life away. I have read, or I guess I agree because I didn't read it. Click download. When this shows up, click save file, click okay. That should go to your downloads folder by default. We are done with this page. Go back to the Calyx OS guide. So now that we have the Google USB driver downloaded, the next part is to put our Android device in fast boot mode. So at this point in the install process, screen recording is no longer supported on my Android device. So I'm going to need to switch my main camera to my phone. And thankfully with the magic of editing, this will only take a moment. So the next step is to boot our phone into fast boot mode. In order to do that, we need to first power off our device. Go ahead and hold down the power button, select power off. Once the phone is completely powered off, go ahead and hold down the volume down button and then press the power button for about four seconds, then release it, release the volume button, and you should now see your phone is booted into fast boot mode. We can see the red text on the screen confirming that. After that, go ahead and connect the USB cable to your phone, and then connect the other end of the cable to your computer. So at this point, your phone should be booted into fast boot mode and connected to your computer via USB. Next up on the list is to open Windows Device Manager. So click the Start menu, Search for device, open device manager. If you don't see your pixel listed, just expand other devices, right click, select update driver, click browse my computer for drivers. So before we can pick the location of the driver we downloaded earlier, first need to open up file explorer, head into our downloads, right click on the USB driver that we downloaded in the first step, select extract all, Unselect Show Extracted Files, click Extract. We can now see this was successfully extracted. Go ahead and close this window. Click on Browse. Select Downloads or wherever you downloaded the driver to. Select that freshly extracted folder and click OK. Go ahead and click Next. Always trust Google, gonna uncheck that. Click Install. 
and you should now see that Windows has successfully updated your driver's Android bootloader interface. Everything is good to go to the next step. Click close on there. We are done with device manager, so click X. And now the next part on this process is to download device flasher. So download device flasher. It's a small file, should be quick. Click save file. This next part to verify the digest, this is optional. This just verifies the file is not corrupted and it does match the hash listed on calyxos.org. You can skip this part in the video if you want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it. So click on the start menu, type CMD, open up a command prompt. We need to change directory to where our file was downloaded to. So CD and then start typing download, hit tab to autocomplete, enter. You type DIR to list the files. We can see here is deviceflasher.exe. So now we're going to type cert util-hash file. Again, start typing the file name, hit tab to autocomplete, and then the algorithm we want to use, which is SHA-256. Once you have that typed out, hit enter. And we can see the hash 0cd6c does match the one listed on calyxos.org. So now that we have confirmed the hash of device flasher, the next step is to download the factory image. So go ahead and click download Calyx OS image. Make sure save file is selected. This file is 1.5 gigabytes, so your download time may vary depending on your connection speed. So once the download completes, we're going to verify the digest again. Like I mentioned earlier, the step is optional, but I'm going to demonstrate it in this video. So if you still have the command prompt open, just go ahead and hit the up arrow. We're going to delete the device flasher part. Start typing Redfin Factory or whatever the file name is you downloaded. Hit tab to autocomplete. Looks like it erases the SHA-256, so let's retype that again. Once you have that typed out, hit enter. This will take a bit longer to calculate because the file is much larger than the device flasher. So give that a minute to finish and we will compare the hashes. That is finished and we can see 9668D4. That hash does match the one listed on calyxos.org, so we are good to go. The last step here is to verify the signature. I'm actually gonna skip this for this video, but you can go ahead and do that if you'd like. So now that we have the device flasher downloaded along with the Calyx OS image, the next step is to actually install Calyx OS on our phone. So step one is to connect your phone via USB to the computer. It still should be connected because we never removed it. And the second step is to actually run Device Flasher. So to do that, we're gonna open up File Explorer, go to our Downloads folder where it was downloaded to, double click on Device Flasher. So we can see here it's extracting Redfin Factory, that's the Calyx OS image we downloaded, downloading some additional components that it needs, extracting those. So this next step in yellow, this is just a reminder to do what we've already done. Confirm you have all that done. If you've been following since the beginning, you already have that completed. So go ahead and press enter on your keyboard. So we can confirm that device flasher detected our phone successfully. We see the serial number listed here of devices to be flashed. Go ahead and press enter. So at this point we need to manually unlock the bootloader. And to do that, we're going to change the selection from do not unlock the bootloader to unlock the bootloader by pressing the volume button. Once that is selected, go ahead and press the power button to confirm. Give that a moment to complete. Once completed, you can now see in red unlocked on the screen, which confirms the bootloader has been unlocked successfully. Once you complete this process, the install will continue automatically. So while the install is running, you're going to see your screen flash a few times, different options show up. Don't touch anything until the process finishes. Once it has completed, we will see a prompt on our screen that tells us to interact with our device again. So now that the install has completed, we now need to manually relock the bootloader. To do that, we're going to change the option to lock the bootloader by pressing the volume button. Once we confirm that, go ahead and press the power button to select it. Give that a moment to complete. 
And once that has completed, you will see locked on the screen in green, confirming that the bootloader has been locked successfully. The last step in the process will be to confirm that OEM unlocking and USB debugging are disabled after we go through the initial setup process. So to go through the initial setup, go ahead and select next on the screen, select your language, change the time zone if you need to. I'm going to skip adding a Wi-Fi network. I do not have a SIM card in this phone. Leave location services enabled if you want. I'm going to disable them. I'm going to skip adding a fingerprint and pin code, but you should add this on your device for protection. And here we have MicroG services. This is basically an open source implementation of Google services that allows you to, to run apps that require these services. One of the perks of Calyx OS is that this comes bundled with it. If you don't want to leave this enabled, there are other OSs out there that are better suited for privacy. So you should go ahead and leave this enabled. Go ahead and click next. These are just some additional apps. You can keep them if you want to. I'm going to unselect them so this goes quicker. Click next. Not restoring from a backup, click skip. And now click start. At this point, you should now see the default Calyx OS background. And now the last step in the process, I'm gonna swipe up and go into settings. Scroll down, go to about phone. Scroll down, select and tap build number seven times. Once you see you are now a developer, click back. Go into system, advanced, developer options, and confirm OEM unlocking is disabled and USB debugging is disabled. And now at this point you have successfully installed Calyx OS on your Pixel device.